bus riders across the St. Louis area are still struggling with bi-state bus service due to a driver shortage. Elliot Davis gets the call from one rider in North St. Louis County who says she's in an especially bad situation. Elliot is here with tonight's You Paid For It. Well, Jasmine and Shirley, it is a very tough situation for a lot of people. I get a lot of calls about this and people who just have no other way uh, to get around. This particular North County uh, resident says she has a lot of health issues, but she relies on Bi-State to get home from work. Right now, she finds herself in the same fix as many other riders all over St. Louis who depend on public transportation. That is tonight's You Paid For It. Alanda Jackson says she's dealing with a heart condition as well as other health ailments. Yet she says she's forced to do more walking than she should because Bi-State bus service has been cut back. I'm four minutes from my job. It takes me an hour and a half to get home. I am a Metro bus rider and I pay $78 a month for a bus pass. I take the bus to work and to handle other business, but at this time, they, at the bus line I live on is, which is the 78, it stops at seven o'clock. Well, after 7 o'clock, I have no way home. She says Bi-State contracts with a private van service to give folks like her another option to use to get home. But she says trouble there, too. That is contracted through Metro. Well, when I call them, they always tell me, well, you have to call back in 30 minutes because we don't have a way, mm -hmm. you know, we don't have no seats. Okay, so that means I have to stay at work for an extra 30, prior to an hour. I talked to Bi-State President CEO Talby Roach this week for the latest on the bus shortage situation that's tough for so many people. We talked to a uh, citizen that uh, relies on Bi-State, said her bus, state, bus service had been cut off. What do you tell people like that? Well, first of all, we apologize. The reality is, yes, our bus driver shortage is affecting service right now. But what, what we ask for that, when that, uh, for that patience is that we're going to work every single day at filling those jobs. How many passengers would you see are impacted by this? Certainly in the hundreds are affected. I know they're short of bus drivers since the pandemic, but you still have to accommodate us because we pay for their services. Mm -hmm. They, every time I call, they, no one calls me back. And then when they say they're going to call back, one time they call back and they say, oh, we're going to fix the problem. How much have you had to cut service? So the service cut has been right in between 10 to 15 percent. And that's really more having to do with the frequency of service or so on. So service is still out there. But unfortunately, just because of the driver shortage, uh, we are struggling to get it out. But what we want to do is spread it out so that we still have that expectation of service and that we're still getting folks around the St. Louis area. Any idea when this crisis is going to end? Uh, boy, I, I would love for it to be over tomorrow. And Tommy Roach says, Bicate is holding job fairs with $2,000 bonuses to try to attract drivers. He says he's had about 300 drivers so far, but he admits there's a lot more work to do and a lot more drivers to hire, obviously. Until then, many customers are going to be stuck with trouble getting around. Of course, I'll stay on top of this deal. After all, you paid for it.